शंकरम लोक शंकरम शंकरम शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्र भाष्य वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः ईश्वर गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योमतीहाय दक्षिणाूर्त नम सहनावत सहनौ घुन सह वीरवाह तेजस्वीनावजी तमस्तमा वह ये ओं शाति 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 धातुर्ब्रह्म संप्रोक्त जीव आख्यात मुच्यते प्रकृतिकृसवंतादीर्धा ब्रह्मात्मे नम नारायण स्वरोक्तांडमुक्त संभव अंडस्यांतस्तोका सप्तद्वीपा चीदी so the 23rd verse was introduced in the 16th chapter by bhagwan bhashyakara saying sarvasya etasya asuri sampat parivarjanasya shreya acharanasya cha shastram karanam the shastra alone is the source karana for for the acharana of shreya marga after having given up asuri sampat therefore asuri sampat parivarjana and shreya acharana for both shastra is the only source really shastram eva karanam really sarvasya tasya all the set which was explained earlier to giving uh, and to giving those flaws and taking up shreyo marga shastra pramanat ubhayam shakyam kartum ubhayam is asuri sampat parivarjana and shreya acharana both are possible only due to shastra pramana na anyatha so na anyatha has been added here which is why we can say shastra meva karanam na tu itaram ataha therefore what does he say bhagwan krishna says who wants to take this verse i can try yeah yashastra vidhi mutrujya vartate kama karatah na sa siddhim vapnoti na sukham na para angatim yeah यह शास्त्र विधि उत्सृज्य वर्तते काम कारतः न सह सिद्धि अवाप्नोति न सुखम न पराम गति न पराम गति सो दी क्रियापद इज एक्चुअली टू आर देर अवाप्नोति इज वन एंड वर्तते इज वन बोथ आर प्रथम पुरुष एक वचन then the uh, yah is of course uh, prathama vachana uh, prathama vibhakti ek vachana so purusha ek vachana uh, yeah, vibhakti sorry prathama 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 vibhakti ek vachana yeah, prathama vibhakti, yeah, prathama, yeah. Prathama vibhakti ek vachana then uh, shastra vidham is uh, dvitiya ek vachana hmm. then utsrujya is avyaya yeah, levanta should say levanta so i yeah, yeah, should you told me to take levanta call it as yeah प्रथम विभक्ति बहुवचन बहुवचन of which pratipadika sir kama kama karatas no which pratipadika kama karata is it karatas 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 is it karatas yeah karatas what is I kama looked karatas it, i looked up in the dictionary hmm. actually it's, uh, kama karatas is becoming desire hmm. so therefore i feel it is i took it as one three okay. One three. How will it fit in with Saha? Saha, it will not fit. That's why I put one one as well as one three. So I was a little confused. Uh, let that go then. 
Okay. Not sure, then let it go. Okay. Okay. Now, Naha we'll look at Of course, Avi did. Uh, Avi, yeah. Saha is one one. Hmm. Siddhim is again two one. Then Avap Noti, of course, we said that Na is uh, Avi, yeah. Uh, Sukham is two one. Na Avi, yeah. Paramgati is again two one. Both. Hmm. Kama Karata hai. Uh, it will all actually be uh, Pratama, uh, Pratama Vibhakti is uh, Eka Vachana only. Hmm. So Why? The, because the, it goes with uh, Yaha. Look at this. Kama Priyukta. Okay. <clears throat> so if you are confused, always look in the Bhashyam. Last time you told me. <laughs> you yeah. yeah. <laughs> Now I looked at okay. it somehow it didn't check. Yeah, okay. So I must have okay. not understood. Yeah. That's okay, it's okay. Yeah. So some pratya which will give you calm kuru. There is some pratya which is either uh, nit or nit pratya. Um, okay. maybe and pratya. And pratya will not give you the karat. I am not able to make out the pratya. But uh, okay. karat. Let's see anyway. Karat. There is a word karat. Um, through taking Kamaka. So, some kind of a uh, maybe some pratya which is uh, Upapada Tatpurusha pratya. So, Upapada okay. Tatpurusha pratyas are not clear, I mean, not not so often seen. Something which is rarely used, that kind of a pratya may be there. So, it, it must be a nit or a nit pratya with okay. ata, atas, ata kind of pratya, atan, something like that may be there. I'm not sure. I have to look up that section. But okay. that will give you Kama Karata. So okay. if such a word Kama Karata is there, then it can be there. I'm not sure. <coughs> hmm. I would take it as if I mean if I had not have had this, uh, it could be see this is not necessarily a meaning. Okay. So okay. I would generally I if I knew nothing, then I would interpret this as an avyaya. And okay. Avyaya Pancham Yarte Tasil. And I will take okay. this as Hetu. So Saha Kama Karataha, meaning because of being Kama Kara, therefore, thereby Siddhim na apnoti. So I would take this as Hetu Panchami if I if I knew nothing else. So okay. this is questionable. I would still put it a question because I do not know how this form has come in. The meaning is Kama Prayukta San, but this can very well be Hetu Garbha Visheshana. Through Hetu Garbha, he may be explaining the meaning. So Kama Karataha may not necessarily be Prathama Ekvachana. If I don't find anything, see, I, we can also say that, see, I can say I don't know one, which Pratyaya. If it is first case singular, I, I have to look up the Pratyaya. This may be some kind of a Upapada Tatpurusha Pratyaya. One. Okay. Second possibility is Kama Karata itself. Kama Kara is, is Upapada. There it, I know that it is un. Here it here, this much I can make. But Taha has to be Tasil then. If it is Tasil, then okay. it will become uh, it can be Tasi also. Actually, uh, a good way to explain this would be yeah, I would put this as zero one. This is okay. a better way of Avyaya, but in the first case meaning that's possible. So okay. this is this is a Tasil Pratya. So there's Tasi and Tasil Pratya. Two Pratyas are there. One is in Tritiya Panchamyarthi. The other one can be in any Vibhakti. So this, this looks like a possibility. This is more of a possibility. And with this, we can resolve this also. It can be Prathama Vibhakti itself. Need not even go to okay. Tritiya or Panchami. So this is a possibility very rare. I mean, uh, Tritiya Panchami, other than that, we don't see much usage. But Sarva Vibhakti, uh, other Vibhaktis are possible in Tasi. Tasi and Tasil, there are two Pratyas. One of them okay. may be used here to give you Prathama Vibhakti meaning. And that is what Bhagavan Bhashyakara is interpreting. Or it can be Panchamyarthe and this is uh, the gloss over it. Not an exact uh, Vibhakti meaning, but it is the sense given. All these many possibilities are there. We can land on it. And there may also be a uh, Tika which says that that is also something that we can look up. I'm not sure. Nonetheless, okay. okay. We get the meaning that it is in Prathama Yubhakti. If we take this, then we know that it is Kamakara. It will be better in Prathama Vibhakti only, no? Because it will go with uh, Yaha, the one who has. No, it need not go there. I mean, it need not go there. 
need not go there saha is fine i mean okay. if it is uh, hetu hetu this is a hetu for him to not attend siddhi panchami also goes very well not an issue okay. there anyway okay. uh, we'll take it as prathama not a problem i am just saying that so many possibilities are there without losing the meaning of course okay. unless there is, um, but uh, i don't think it's a pratyaya i i don't know this this pratyaya uh, in the upapada tatpurusha so this has to be tasi and there panchami or prathama both will work there prathama arte panchami arte both will okay. work there anyway so what's the anvaya here yaha yaha vartate uh, vartate saha shast सुखम no apnuti so all this you can just say sukham and sukham there are three na there are three na therefore all we can take one by one parangatim na apnuti and kamakaratha will put it in the here itself so so उत्सृज्यूज्य Having given up Shastra Vidhi, what is Shastra Vidhi? Shastram is Veda. There is no other Shastra. Every Shastra traces back to Veda. So that this is even the Shastra they say that you know this is all uh, Manukrita or some somebody has written it. All that is bogus. It is all uh, people who object to Shastra saying that oh we don't find this in Veda. We don't find in Veda. How much Vedas do you know? first question second question is even if you know all vedas how much how many vedas are surviving today how many veda shakhas are surviving people don't even know names even the scholars don't know name let alone mudhas so all shastra traces back to veda unless shastras contradict veda or apparently contradict veda statement directly then they have to be reinterpreted taking not just randomly taking other pramanas in account so otherwise shastras are derived from veda therefore shastras for all practical purposes they are vedas pramana therefore shastra vidhim utsrujya meaning those who discard vedas tasya vidhim is vedasya shastrasya vidhim vedasya vidhim that's the meaning of the shashti tatpurusha vidhim is what what is vidhi now vidhi nisheda vidhi when you talk about vidhi nisheda is if it is not talked about separately then nisheda is included in the vidhi you do this you don't do this kartavya akartavya jnana karanam vidhi pratishedakhyam which is called as vidhi pratishedha veda itself is called as vidhi pratishedakhyam veda and there we talk about karma kanda not about not about uh, ज्ञान कांडा बिकॉज ज्ञान कांडा देर इज नो विधि पर से इट इज इंटरप्रिटेड एज विधि बट फर्दर एज एंड वेन द ज्ञान टेक्स प्लेस देन दिधि प्रतिषेध पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ दो स्टेटमेंट ड्रॉप ऑफ उत्सृज मीनिंग हैविंग गिवन अप चक्वा सो हैविंग गिवन अप दि विधि एंड प्रतिषेध वेद वर्तते काम कारतः काम प्रयुक्त सन वर्तते सो दैट्स हाउ यू टू इंटरप्रेट वन हु रिमेन्स एंडोर्ड विथ अंडर द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ एंडोर्ड विथ मीन्स इट्स नथिंग गुड सो अंडर द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ काम न स सिद्धि आपनोती अवापनोती सिद्धि पुरुषार्थ योग्यताम सो 
इवन टू बिकम योग्य फॉर पुरुषार्थ विच इज मोक्ष इन दी एंड वेन पुरुषार्थ निश्चय इज देर देन आउट ऑफ फोर ओनली वन पुरुषार्थ रिमेन्स विच इज दी पुरुषार्थ एंड योग्यता फॉर दैट पुरुषार्थ इज रियली मुख्य मुख्य पुरुषार्थ विच इज मोक्ष पुरुषार्थ न अभी अस्मिन लोके सुखम सो यर सुखम इज हियर एंड हियर आफ्टर ऑल्सो स्वर्ग स्वर्ग इज सुख रूप सो वन डज नॉट एटेन सिद्धि हियर और एलसुएर एंड पराम गतिम दट इज एलसुएर प्रकृष्टाम गतिम पराम इज प्रकृष्टाम गतिम गति इज the course after the fall of the body which happens to be swarga or moksha as the case may be any type of moksha anitya also nitya also nitya has been covered here but here yogyatam has been covered the phala is here so one attains nothing basically purusha purushartha yogyata is not there others are anyway purushartha for dharma will lead to swarga also sukha here and purushartha prapti is moksha so there is no possibility of the others others have been mentioned here but if we say that one is not even capable of siddhi then let alone the others but of course the others can be there due to the earlier punya but current papa due to not following dharma not following does not give any papa but not following means that the time which was to be utilized for vidhi is not being utilized for vidhi therefore one ends up doing nishiddha karma even the neutral karma at the time of vidhi someone has to do a particular thing at a particular time as per the vidhi not doing that does not cannot give any anything you cannot get a positive papa from not doing something which is called a pratyavaya dosha pratyavaya dosha is not a positive occurrence due to lack of something pratyavaya dosha is the called as dosha which is the earlier papa fructifying because of not doing the karma which gives kavacha so that which protects has been taken away therefore the earlier starts acting so in winter you don't wear a particular layer of clothing that layer of clothing not wearing layer of clothing will not give you you know it will not bring cold the cold is not felt due to the woolen cloth not being worn otherwise if you don't wear it inside your house you have a warmer you don't wear woolen cloth but do you feel cold you don't feel cold the the reason for the cold is not not wearing something additional layer but it is due to the the wind acting upon you similarly the earlier papa is acting pratyavaya dosha is that which is which lets the earlier papa to work because you don't have anything to block it so not doing something is not blocking so not doing vidhi not following vidhi is not blocking the earlier papa that is pratyavaya dosha so here one does not get fresh fresh papa but not following vidhi but due to being pratishiddha karma one gets papa and if one does not do pratishiddha karma one says no i have just eaten food i have eaten all you know all uh, i have done achamana i have done shuddhi of the food and i have eaten food but one is not supposed to eat food on a particular time or after a particular you know a particular um, time something has has to be done and that time one is eating then for example in uh, that may be pratishiddha but we are talking about not pratishiddha it is not pratishiddha but you are supposed to do something and instead of that, doing that somebody does you know starts eating which is neutral karma but because of not following vidhi and doing this that will attract papa so it is not that not doing sandhya vandana brings papa but doing something else during sandhya vandana time brings papa that's how the doshas work even in the case of not following vidhi because something else has been done 
because that's why it is said you know chaktwa when vidhi pratisheda is not there then you go by your whims and then kama takes over that is the reason that a person loses purushartha etc further the last shloka who wants to take this शास्त्र प्रमाण ते शास्त्र कर्म कर्तुम अर्हसी अर्हसी इज मध्यम पुरुष एक वचन कर्तुम इहा अर्हसी तुमुन इज अव्यय इहा इज आल्सो अव्यय किम कर्तुम कर्म कर्तुम सो दैट इज 21 कीदृश कर्मः शास्त्र विधान उक्तम कर्मः कीदृश कर्म 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 या कर्म न्यात्वा इज त्वा अव्यय व्यवस्थितौ व्यवस्थितौ इज सेवन सेवन टू सेवन टू आई मीन विच प्रतिपदिक मम व्यवस्थित व्यवस्थित देन वाय सेवन बाय मीनिंग ओके ओके सो इट्स टू वन प्रतिपदिक It's two one. व्यवस्थित हाँ व्यवस्थित हो. Two two or okay. two one. One 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 two sorry. न्यात्वा. Hmm. Okay, we'll come back. Anyway, we'll come back. Okay. तस्मात. तस्मात इस पंचमी. Hmm. शास्त्रम इस नपुंसका सो. It could be one one or two one. Three is तवा. Taste the work. Then, if it is taste the work, can the this be pramanam de? <coughs> pramanam is also not from Sakka, I think. Yeah. Prathama, he question. Taste there, so it will be prathama. For you, what? So for you, what? Kim bhavati? So you can ask. Te te kim bhavati? So te kim bhavati? There. What is there for you? So asti kim bhavati? Asti is all. We will expect prathama. Therefore, tasmat shastram pramanam te. <coughs> Either that way, or if you take it with nyatva, then it will become two one. Based uh, how you make the anvaya, that will decide all that. Okay. So karya kya? Karya kya? So nyatva is seven one. Hmm. Yavastitau. Is seven one? Yeah. Seven. सप्तमी व्हाय व्हाट इज द प्रतिपदिक नाउ यू नो द प्रतिपदिक व्हाट इज इट व्यवस्थितः स्थितः प्रतिपदिक विल बी वेयर डू यू गेट औ व्यवस्थितः अंत उकारांत कैन इट बी स्थितु नो इट कैन बी स्थिति सो कार्याकारे व्यवस्थिति विल बी कम कार्यकेव व्यवस्थितः व्यवस्थितः ओके सो मतिव इट्स इकारांत इट हैव घी संज्ञा राइट Jasaki. So the mm-hmm. sutra will apply. It will have two forms. It can have two forms like mati, mato, or matyam. Matyam. Mm-hmm. So you get saptami. You get vibhasha. Mm-hmm. Okay. So tasma shastra. Now let's resolve this. Pramanam te te. So this te is tava. So if it is tava, then pramanam karma kartu yha rasidnyatva. कार्य के व्यवस्थित हो नहीं आता समथिंग हैज़ टू बी सप्लाइड आई थिंक 
we'll come back to this uh, let's uh, karma kartum karma jnatva we can take jnatva with jnatva we can take these two we can leave these as first case that will work better so tasmat tasmat kasmat because of earlier thing here shastra vidhi mutsrujya those who are there they don't attain oh whoever whosoever is there they don't attain sukha or purushartha therefore tasmat so in continuation with the earlier tasmat shastram te pramanam karya 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 vyavasthita pramanam yeah so you can add this here now so tasmat karya karya vyavasthita shastram te pramanam bhavatu so let so let it be so this is how you can add bhavatu or asti bhavati or let we bring more sense by changing the lakara then se shastra vidhanuktam karma nyatva so you have to know before you do something you have to know so shastra shastra vidhanuktam karma nyatva then we can we did not repeat it we'll say tat kartum arhasi इह तत्कर्तुम अरहसि सो दिस विल मेक अ डिसेंट अनवे आई थिंक इह इह शास्त्र विधान उक्तम सो वी कैन टेक इह अर्लियर सो हियर व्हाट इज वैलिड इह शास्त्र विधान उक्तम कर्म ज्ञातवा देन यू से तत तत्कर्म तुम कर्तुम अरहसि हम एनी क्वेश्चंस एनीवन हियर विद दिस अनवे डज दिस मेक सेंस यस ओके देन तस्मात् शास्त्रम प्रमाणम व्हाट इज प्रमाण प्रमाण इज प्रमाकरण प्रमाण सो करण प्रमा इज मा माने प्रपूर्वक मा माने धातु सो प्रमाण अन लुडंत सो इट्स करणे व्युत्पत्ति देयरफॉर प्रमाकरण प्रमाण करण 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 टू प्रमा इज कॉल्ड एज प्रमाण प्रमा इज ज्ञान ज्ञान मीनी भावे व्युत्पत्ति For bhave pramajnyanam, what is the sadhana? Karana, karana is sadhana. That is praman. Therefore, jnana sadhana means to jnana. Te tava, te is tava. Karya karya vyavasthito means karya karya is kartavya. Kartavya to kartavyam yat tat karyam. So this ya pratyaya which is added here, that is in which sense? it is in the kartavya sense it is kritya so kritya pratya there it is kartavya karaniya karya all these mean the same thing so karya akarya so kartavya akartavya what has to be done what is not to be done what's the duty what is not the duty so which is my duty in this state stage of life so that is how It is Varna Shrama Dharma is like that. Kartavya akat kartavya karya na karya. So for Arjuna, what is kartavya? What is akartavya? And what is the arrangement? Arrangement is Varna Shrama Dharma. Therefore, kartavya akartavya vyavasthaya te shastra meo pramanam bhuvatu. Let let shastra be the pramana. Don't take any someone says okay, you do it. It's okay. Why do you bother? You have, because your goal is different from someone who is telling you what to, what you should do that someone has a different goal he has he does not have moksha as as a goal so arjuna for whom moksha should be the goal for him he should inquire what should i do otherwise shastra setting aside siddhim na vapnoti na sukham na parangati do you want anything out of this even if you want siddhi sukha or paragati then shastra is the praman therefore kartavya kartavya vyavasthayam shastram eva praman atah jnatva so therefore jnatva is buddhva knowing what knowing what shastra vidhanoktam whatever has been said by shastra vidhana and what is it vidhanam is vidhi so if So I don't know what is vidhana shastra vidhana I don't know shastra vidhi whatever is the vidhi given in the shastra prescription you do this vidhanam shastram meva 
and what is the samasaya shastram eva vidhanam vidhi itself is called as shastra there vidhanam shastra vidhanam so karma dharaya and vidhana is in sense of vidhi so shastra vidhi knowing shastra vidhi nyatva that's what it means meaning shastram nyatva vidhi nyatva pratishiddham nyatva all that finally he says if, even if you don't understand all that kuryat na kuryat iti eva lakshanam this should be done kuryat na kuryat iti eva lakshanam tena uktam swakarma yat so that is swakarma finally this is my duty as prescribed by shastra it may or may not be someone else's i have to follow this that's it yat tat kartu ya so this is nice so they supplied this सो तत्कर्त इह अरसि सो यद शास्त्रेण उक्तम न कुर्यात न कुर्यात इतिएव लक्षणं यद उक्तम तत् त्वम कर्तुम इह अरहसि यू ऑट टू डू दैट इह इति सो इह इति व्हाई इह इट शुड बी एल्सवेयर इह व्हाई इह भगवान भाष्य करे कर्माधिकार भूमि प्रदर्शनार्थम इति because karma adhikara is there only on the bhumi on karma that's why karma bhumi okay i'll not do it now I'll, if i go to some other loka i'll do it no there is no adhikara for karma in other lokas even those who want to do karma they have to come down to this loka and do it that's why you see you know all, all these uh, puranas they say that it took avatara here and then did some karma whatever so that is why iha meaning here you have adhikara in karma and here itself there is there is gati you gati is decided based on karma here it is shrimad paramahamsa parivraja kacharyasya shri govinda bhagavat pooja pad shishyasya shrimad shankara bhagavat krutau shrimad bhagavat gita bhashya shodasho dhyayah so 16 chapter bhashya on the 16 chapter ends here as made by bhagwan shankara shankaracharya who was Shishya of Govinda Bhagavat Pooja Pada, whose padas themselves were endowed with bhaga, therefore pooja. And who was he? He was Acharya and Parivrajaka. He was a Parivraja Sanyasi and also Paramahasa Sanyasi. That is the 16th chapter. I have a small question. Yes, sir. i have one small question and that uh, 23rd verse huh. uh, before that we you explained on uh, asura sampat pariv uh, parivarjanasya and shreya acharanasya can you just highlight again i yeah so see cha is there right cha means and yeah. and means what these two so these yeah. two are mentioned here are asuri sampat parivarjana how do you know what is asuri sampat we need shastra But, even if you it gita gita is also shastra so gita okay, shastra so. tells you what is asuri sampat so we have studied that uh, so how did we know asuri sampat due to gita shastra due to shastra yes. and what does it say you give this up pick up good qualities pick up sattva guna asuri sampat and what is the other sampat daivi sampat daivi so sampat. pick up daivi sampat and then through daivi sampat through chitta shuddhi take the shreya acharan which is shreya is moksha param shreya is moksha therefore give up prayas and shreyas we have seen this earlier also yes. give up prayas pick up shreyas and prayas for prayas for that which is to one's liking a person gets into anything and everything so therefore asuri sampat without knowing will be getting will be you know basically without knowing also we will be gaining these because of wanting to get prayas that is if long uh -huh. and if you look at it where did it start it started by that itself so the chapter started with bhagwan bhashyakara saying third third or fourth verse here no no bhagwan bhashyakara started by saying daivi asuri rakshasi iti praninam prakrute navame adhyay suchita what he says here is that तत्र संसार मोक्षाय दैवी प्रकृति एंड निबंधानाय आसुरी राक्षसी च इति दैव्या आदानाय सो टू टेक अप दैवी प्रकृति एंड इतर एव परिवर्जनाय सो टू गिव अप आसुरी एंड राक्षसी संपत एंड टू पिक अप दैवी संपत एंड दैट इज व्हाट इज सेड इन द एंड 
in the closing also the same thing has been said as etasya so this is the see 24th is what arjuna should do but summing up from the first opening statement bhagwan bhashakara's opening statement is summing up here he says this is where it is ending this entire chapter was for this purpose to show what is asuri sampat why because it has to be given up and daivi sampat why because it will lead to moksha it should be taken up so therefore to give this up and to take up okay. this entire shastra is pramana which is veda and derived from that gita also and other shastras also therefore shastra is veda here okay that is a karana source for what should be given up see basically source for dharma and adharma both is only vedas there is no other source for it the source for we may not know the source we that's why we depend on elders culturally we traditionally we depend on elders whether it, we have kula gurus or we have our parents or elder brother whoever you know earlier we, we had the system the oldest in the family knows the most that is jnanena vruddha vruddha but jnanena api vruddha they have they have the knowledge of how dharma shastra what has to be done sometimes you know the uh, uh, grandfather is not there but grandmother is alive grandmother is old she can't do much but then people would ask her we don't know in this situation what should we do what would you in those times what were they doing so there is some confusion she would say oh this is what i have seen this is what he used to do this is what they used to do then that is the source so yeah. that that's how the apta vakya works that also apta vakya is also pramana because yeah. it is based on shastra in the dharma vyavastha okay okay anything else okay thank you achha. okay so that is the 16th chapter the 17th chapter starts with its shraddha trey vibhaga yoga so its a topic is the topic of this 17th chapter is shraddha trey now bhagwan krishna has used this shastra is pramana arjuna is scratching his head he says oh tasma shastram pramanam te iti bhagavad vakyat labdha prashna bijah arjuna vacha so arjuna what kind of samasa is this labdha prashna bijah anyone very easy you've seen it many times now how to interpret this samasa Anyone? I want to take away your fear of samasas. If not now, when? Anyone? That difficult? I will try. Yes, Amma. Okay. What kind of samasa? Labda prasna. ंड <laughs> it's it's tant anishtha nishtha purvam bahu vrihau and you see this prashna bija what is what kind of a word is bija here you have arjuna is arjuna bija i want to show you how to inquire into it see labdha if you don't remember this it's all right but bija what is tatpurusha in tatpurusha the uttara pada pradhanatvam is there uttara pada pradhanatvam means arjuna who is in first case And bijaha, the word ending with bijaha in first case are in samana di karne. It can be tatpurusha only if Arjuna is bija. This is the simplest way to see any any confusion whether Arjuna is bija or not. Does anyone have a confusion that Arjuna can be bija? Can Arjuna be bija? No. Then what kind of a samasa? Simple. It is not tatpurusha. Yeah, as simple as that there is no difficult you don't need not have any fear of samasas 
does any does everyone understand i want this i mean since uh, it's just, you know last chapter where i'll get an opportunity to spend more time on vyakrana otherwise we don't get such in vedanta you know vedanta is so beautiful that vyakrana is set aside is go we spend some time but we don't get enough enough time to spend on that but here look at this beautiful samasa bija is bija arjuna then it is not tatpurusha otherwise uttara pad pada pradhana means what tatpurusha means uttara pada pradhana how many padas are there labdha prashna and bija you have to take the uttara pada whatever is the samasa earlier is later samasa has to be en analyzed from the last word in the last word bija is bija is equal to arjuna if yes no. then tatpurusha is possible if it is not then it is not tatpurusha if bija is equal to arjuna then def almost definitely tatpurusha what kind of tatpurusha can be analyzed later but bija does not mean arjuna then it is impossible for it to be a tatpurusha that being so it has to be bahurihi then you look at bija and prashna what is the connection between prashna and bija you you can just translate it in english question and seed what does it mean what is the connection between question and seed how will you say translate this if i just say question dash seed how will you translate it mm. how will you read that phrase will you say question dash seed means what seed okay. of the question right yeah. or seed to the question right appropriately if you translate you say it is a seed to the question what is a seed to a question here it is not arjuna so seed to the question and labdha means what attained so attained okay. dash question dash seed how do you translate this one who has attained one who has attained so labdha <laughs> one who has attained the seed to a question so it is what lab labdha bija is now bija is which uh, Uh, third third clue here first is labdha second clue in fact we start with bija bija is the first clue bija is not arjuna first clue that is bahuri labdha nishtha 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 again bahuri bahuri nishtha purvam bahuri ho third clue bija which which gender is bija do you say bija ha or bijam bijam so bijam is which gender neuter Kum saka? Can it be Arjuna? Cannot be Arjuna. So you have three clues to tell you that it is Bahuri. He three clues. You cannot go wrong. Even if you get one clue, you cannot go wrong. So so much is there. So Vakrana teaches you so much, but still people are get scared of samasa because simple rules are forgotten, and then something is there. You just interpret it blindly. Don't interpret blindly. Look at the last word and start interpreting. It is very simple. so labdha prashna bija is one who has attained the bija to prashna who is that arjuna so arjuna is one who has attained a seed now he has attained the seed in his mind now because of what reason tasmat shastram pramanam te iti bhagavad vakyat due to that statement of bhagwan krishna there is a seed planted due to this there is a seed he has as though there is a seed planted in arjuna's head therefore he is he is labdha prashna bija he is not bija but he is labdha prashna bija so this is an entire thing is samana adikaran with arjuna not bija bija is not samana adikaran he is in, not in samana adikaran with arjuna but labdha is equal to prashna bija he has attained the seed to the question so he is one who has attained the prashna bija so lab labdha so bija if it is one then we will say labdham prashnasya bijam yena so one by whom so if you want to do literal translation we will say arjuna is one by whom a seed for a to a question has been attained means it's cropped up that kind of arjuna vacha he asked what did he ask arjuna vach yes chandrika amma you can take now ye arjuna vach ye shastra vidhi muk vidhi mutsrujya yajante shraddha yanvitah tesham nishtatu ka krishna satvamaho rajastamaha 
ये शास्त्र विधि उत्सुज्य यजन्ते श्रद्धया अन्विता तेषा निष्ठा तो का कृष्ण सत्वो रजस्तम क्रियापदम यजन्ते देन यू हैव कृष्ण इस संबोधन ये प्रथम विभक्ति बहुवचन यजन्ते प्रथम पुरुष बहुवचन ये प्रथम विभक्ति बहुवचन ये यजन्ते ये यजन्ते शास्त्र हाँ शास्त्र विधि उत्सृज शास्त्र विधि विल बी द्वितीय संबोधन Rajah, Tamas, and Satvam will be Advitiya Ekavachana. Chintaniyam. Ye Shastra Vidhan Sriji Jante Shadhyaya Anvitasan Vidhante Esham Kaprasatam Anvitasam Anvitasam Not Dithiya. Esham Gati Iti. I think it will be first itself. Aho would be Avyaya, Rajasthama. Tesham is there. Same thing that I said earlier. Tesham is there. Therefore, if it is second, then it is, I'll ask you, karma to what? Second case should not be put blindly. Second case should go with some Kriya. Where will second case go? What use is second case? Either you should have something, some Kriya Pada to with which it, which Kriya Pada will this go with if you put it second? I don't know which Kriya Pada is there. No, there is no will you say tamaha anvitaha or no. tamaha yajante? What? How will you put it? No. Or tamaha utsrijya? Hmm. Does not work. Second has to be thought, well thought. Don't just blindly put second case. Okay. Uh, other, I mean, I, I don't know if, if it can be, but if it is there, I'll ask you as karma to what? Or there should be at least some other uh, avyaya which uh, governs second case. Second case should not be put blindly. It either karma goes in second case or what goes in second case. I don't know anything else that goes in second case. It can be, uh, it can be uh, kriya visheshan. So kriya visheshana go in second case. Karma kriya visheshana or there have to be anu prati. These kind of words should be there. Where I don't see any vina. So some, one of these should be there. Something should tell me that uh, or labanta. Something should be there. If labanta is there, then karma. Twa is there karma. So some kriya should be there. Either a kriya pada or some kriya pada equivalent, or it can be a kriya visheshana or some words should be there. Otherwise, how will it be second case? Not blindly second case. Because okay, I hear see ka, therefore I should put the second case. You should not think that way. Otherwise, the anvaya can be some ka tesham tesham ka nistha. So ka nistha. So there, if you say nistha, nistha will need seventh case. If had it been seventh case, then it's a different story. So nistha is what nistha. So there nistha is then there nistha is either sattva. Sattva Nishta, Raja, Rajo Nishta or Tamo Nishta. That is how the construct would be. So if you start making the Anvaya, you will know, ye, yes. Shastra so this, this all will, Utsurujya this all will be same. Shastra Vidhim, Utsurujya, Yajante. So Yajante, Shraddhyan Vitahas, Santaha, Yajante, Yajante, Tesham Nishta to Kaha. So Tesham Nishta, Kaha Bhavati, सत्व निष्ठा होती वा रजो निष्ठा होती वा तमो निष्ठा होती वा दैट इज द क्वेश्चन देयर सो ही इज नॉट श्योर तेषां निष्ठा का का निष्ठा होती प्राति तेषां का निष्ठा होती इफ यू वांट टू एक्सप्लेन दिस देयर वी देन वी हैव टू से व्हाट इज निष्ठा हियर वन ऑफ दीस निष्ठा सो वन ऑफ दीस निष्ठा वुड बी देयर 
so this is the question he is giving now you tell me i i know three nishtas are possible which nishta is possible so aho aho is or so aho swit aho swit hey krishna so clear yeah hey krishna especially in uh, this thing you know especially in uh, if it is uh, uh, it is kavya right so there we have to be little careful genders may be a little jumbled up we may not be able to uh, land on cases easily and especially in neuter i always say as a neuter you have to be careful in analyzing cases so ye kechit whoever it is ye kechit avisheshata not specifically and it's not a question which is specific it's general whoever it is Shastra vidhim utsrujya and vidhi we have seen vidhi vidhanam interchangeable earlier in the earlier chapter. So shastra vidhi, shastra vidhanam. Earlier vidhanam was said as vidhi. Now he says vidhi is vidhana. So you have to know at least one. Shruti smriti shastra chodanam utsrujya. So chudi prerane that dhatu is used here. So vedas are chodanatmaka vedas. They prod you to do something. If you want dharma, you do this. If you if you want to avoid a dharma, do not do this. So that is the chodanam here. So Shruti Smriti Shastra. So here Veda. So Shastra is Veda. This is Shruti. So Shruti Smriti Rupa Shastra. That is Shastra Vidanam Utsrujya. Utsrujya means Parityajya. Earlier he had said Tyaktva. So now Parityajya. Same thing. Yajante. Yajante means what? Deva Adin Pujayanti. They worship Deva Ityadi. Adipadena, Yaksha, Rakshasa, anything can be there, Bhuta, Pishacha, all of this. Therefore, Devadin Yajante, they have Shraddha. Pitru can be anything, you know, any, any deities. And why do they do Puja? Because they have Shraddha. In any form of the Lord, they can have Shraddha. So, Shraddhya Anvitaha. Shraddhya Anvitaha. Is Shraddha, what is Shraddha there? Shraddha and with Shraddha is equal to Astikya Buddha. Shraddha is Astikya Buddha, Asti Iti Buddhi. There is some higher power. That is Astikya Buddhi. Anvitaha means Sanyuktaha. Sanyuktaha Santaha. Being endowed with Shraddha. They do Deva Puja. And what does this is further? It says Shruti Lakshanam, Shruti Lakshanam va Kanchit Shastra Vidim. Apashyantaha. So Shastra Vidhi Utsu, they don't know any Shastras, but they have Shraddha. So by Shraddha they go ahead and do it. They have commitment to, to some deities. It can be anything. It can be a local deity. There are a lot of village deities. It can be Kshetra Palaka. It can be some, you know, somebody had established something and they, whatever, Ksha, whatever. Considering that there is a Devi there, whatever. There are so many ways to and so many it is there. So Devadin Pujandi Shraddhya Anvita, then Shruti Lakshanam, Smriti Lakshanava, Kanchit Shastra Vidim, Apashyanta. They don't know, they don't see anything. Vruddha Vyavahara Darshana Deva. So even if they don't know, then my father used to do it, my grandfather, my great grandfather also used to do it, my grandmother used to do it. So I will do it. So Vruddha Vyavahara Darshana Deva, Shraddha Dhana Taya. That is in family, it is going on. There is some Shraddha. Shraddha Dhanataya ye Devadin Pujayanti. Te iha ye Shastra Vidim Utsrujya Yajante Shraddhyanvita Ittyam Grihyante. So all those are included by saying that they don't know the Shastra, but they look at Vruddha Vyavara within or outside the family or in the culture it is there around. What about them? Ye Punaha Kanchit Shastra Vidim Upalabhamana Eva. And there are some others who do not have access to Shastra. They don't have access to Shastras. Not everyone understands Shastras. Not everyone has training in Shastras. Some know through their family and you know the close family. In the earlier, there used to be Agraharas, and you know, everybody is a relative, next door is a relative. Not by you know saying that is a relative, but Gotra is same, something is same. So then there is a division after these many, then they are different gotra this is different gotra some segmentation is done but then otherwise everyone around is some kind of a relative Dayadi. so they say some earlier 11 days now three days so there you know at least what they follow you follow 
you don't know you know my parents did not follow then i'll ask someone else so then that someone else does not know he'll ask somebody else but we get to know what has to be done in this festivity or in this you have to follow this that is the rule okay why i don't know which shastra is it but i have access to people who know but sometimes i don't have access to shastra itself nor do i have access to people what about them so ye puna kanchit shastra in upalavamana don't have access to any of those eva tam utsrujya ayatha vidhi then it shraddha is there you do however you want there are many people who do that because and they'll quote whatever you offer to the lord he'll take it lovingly krishna has said in gita they'll quote that also so they will say ayatha vidhi devadin poojayanti not yatha vidhi ayatha vidhi however you do it na nah. sprinkle some water do something that is it done whether it is cooked in madi whether it is you know madi in in, in suchi all that saucha that is not important you do it just sprinkle some water it and do it te iha ye shastra vidhi utsrujya yajante iti na parigrihyante they are not included here he says kasmat shraddhaya anvita tva visheshanat because it has been said here shraddhaya anvita not those who do not have shraddha they are not counted here those who have shraddha but they do not know so देवादि पूज विधि परम किंचित शास्त्र पश्यंत तत्सृज्य अश्रद्धदानतया तद्विहितायां देवादि पूजायां श्रद्धयान्विता प्रवर्तन्ते इति न शक्यं कल्पयितुं यस्मात् सिंस यू कैन नॉट इमेजिन दैट देवादि पूजी पूजा विधि परम किंचित शास्त्र पश्यंत एव दे सी दैट बट देन दे दे गिव इट अप दोस हु डू नॉट नो द शास्त्रास they are not being talked about here devadi puja vidhi param kinchit shastram pashyante eva if they know the shastra then do they have shraddha or they don't have shraddha if they have shraddha then they'll not give up the shastra so here ashraddha danataya tadvihitayam devadi pujayam shraddhaya anvita pravartante iti shakyam na uh, iti na shakyam kalpayetum yasmat since if they know the shastra if the shastra is there they give utsrujya has been said so how can it be that they have no shraddha in the deities there you cannot say it that they don't have shraddha because shraddha has been mentioned here so there what how should it be understood then so here he says shraddha no not shraddha that we did श्रद्धा but it has been said they have shraddha so how should this be understood here tasmat purvokta ev ye shastra vidim utsrujya yajante shraddhyanvita ityatra grihyante tesham evam bhutanam nishtatu ka krishna satvam aho rajastamah so you cannot take the second option you have to take only the first option which was explained as what shastra vidanam परित्यज्य यजन्ते सो दे गिव अप द शास्त्र विधि एंड नॉट दैट दे द सेकंड ऑप्शन वेयर शास्त्र विनु सृजयन्ते इत्येवं गृह्यन्ते सो व्हाट हैज बीन सेड हियर ओनली दिस मच ते इह गृह्यन्ते न तु सो ये पुनः मींस ऑन द अदर हैंड दिस दिस काइंड ऑफ दिस ये शास्त्र विधि उत्सृज्यते न परिगृहते सो द सेकेंड सेट विच हेज बीन मेन्शन हियर अयथाधि देवादी पूजयती दे आर नॉट बीन टॉक्ट अबउट दे डोंट डू अयथाधि पूजा बिकॉज श्रद्धा इज देर सो श्रद्धा इज देर बट दे डोंट नो हाउ टू डू इट वॉट अबाउट देम दे डू विथ श्रद्धा बट 
they have given up shastra they don't know how to do it here not any which way so two categorization have been done one which shraddha one without shraddha so that not without shraddha but those which who have shraddha they are being talked about here what is their gati their nishtha what about their nishtha so nishtha tu kagratna sattvam aho rajah tama kim sattvam nishtha avasthanam aho svit rajah athava tama iti so is their nishtha sattva can be called categorized as sattva avasthanam so nishtha is interpreted avasthanam is their is are do they have sattva or they have rajas aho is aho svit athava tama etad uktam bhavati finally what is the meaning here is ya tesham devadi vishaya puja sakim satviki aho svit rajasi uta tamasi iti what is their nishtha means what whether their puja where they have given up the shastra vidhi but they have shraddha therefore they do then that devadi vishaya puja what they are doing is that puja satviki puja is it rajasi puja or is it tamasi puja that is the idea here and thereby samanya vishaya ayam prashna na apravibhajyam prativachanam arhati iti shri bhagavan vacha he was a general answer in the beginning because it is a samanya question it does not nothing specific there specifics he'll talk about later so that is why shraddha he land on shraddha he says let's look at shraddha analyze the shraddha itself when you say they have shraddha then shraddha is satviki rajasi or tamasi and that will define the puja so when you ask me what what about these people who have shraddha will is their puja satviki oh that will depend on what kind of shraddha is shraddha satviki or not therefore he can't tell you that if you ask the question is framed in such a manner that bhagwan cannot say yeah yeah satviki rajasi tamasi first he'll say what kind of shraddha that you have to analyze and then he'll tell you whether the puja because if the shraddha is satviki puja is satviki and so on so we'll look at more in the next part ha huh? नारायण परो व्यक्ता दंडम अव्यक्त संभव मंडस्यांतस्तुमे लोका सप्तद्वीपा च मे दिनी एनी क्वेश्चंस नमस्ते